Hello, 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 what's up guys, it's Kerry from KJB and welcome back to another episode of the Wigan Athletic Career Mode. I do hope that I find you very well indeed. We're in January, well in fact we're towards the end of January and we've made some transfers and let go of a lot of people. I'm going to quickly run through what we've done, then I'll go through the fixtures and we'll get on with the rest of the episode. A lot of it's loans, so Jolly's out on loan, we have sold Victor. Victor, who was our first youth player we brought through, he just stopped developing. Very good player, but <clears throat> just took the money instead. Zerarau has gone out on loan, so is Alexander. We sold Viv as well. Viv for 3.1 million. He just weren't getting the game time anymore. So again, Victor, Viv, both of them were not getting the game time. I gave them a better chance elsewhere. Clifford's gone on loan, Sabre's on loan, Obi's on loan. And there we go, we've got our first free transfer of next summer. And I think it's the first pre-contract we've done this series as well. Oliver Torres, 29 years old, can play centre mid, can play right mid. I think he's just going to be a brilliant, brilliant bench option. And he can do a job that Curtis Jones is doing. So I can't wait to get him in January. Anyway, since you were last with us and our free loss period in December, because of course you joined us when we're losing... We went on a bit of a streak. We beat Cardiff 8-1. Uh, we then beat Burnley 3-1 away from home. Beat Sheffield Wednesday in the cup. And since then, we've drew 2-1 with Brighton and we've lost 2-1 to Southampton. Today, I'm going to bring you the rest of the transfer window. We're going to play Tottenham. We're going to play Chelsea. We're simming Wickham in the cup. And we'll wrap it up after that. This is how we lined it up there. Melier in goal, Lamperty, Godfrey, Ampadu, Pierce, Busquets, Dembele, Teguia, Jones, Niketia, Lag. You never know line up. We're very familiar with it by this point. Last time it was a close game. I think we lost 4 3. This time I'm hoping we can defend a bit better. These really are the games we want to be winning if we want to push towards these Europa places. At the minute, I think we're in 5th or 6th. I can't quite remember. But. We really, really need to be taking points off Tottenham if we're serious. Oh, I can't find Dembele. Tem 2 can't find Dembele either. Yes, Lamperty, good tackle. Right, and Callum Lang. He's got the pace to get past Kunde. Cross goal. Fires it wide, but it's a first chance for Callum Lang. I really want to see some more from Dembele at the minute. Even in the games you're not seeing off camera, I'm just struggling to get him involved. Nice, Nketi has turned. He's there though, Dembele. Just as I say I struggle to get him involved, he makes a beautiful run off the ball and puts us 1-0 up. What a tackle, Lamperty. Again, that's not the first time he's done that today. Can we do anything on the counter? Find Jones. He's found Dembele and look at the space we've got. I mean, I see Callum lag. He's got acres. And he can't finish, Callum. Well done, Pierce. Stepped across well. This is where we know we're dangerous. Callum Lang is through. Got past Gomez. Slots it under Larice this time. We're 2 0 up before half time. This is brilliant. Play it over. Callum Lang on the volley. Gotta be. Oh, he's forced to save. That's his fourth shot already. No wonder Callum Lang is scoring so many goals for us. Lamperty again. Beautiful tackle. He's done three of them so far. He's been absolutely excellent. Oh, we are struggling. Godfrey's put a good foot in this time. Everyone is defending well this game. Not quite how we planned it, but it's working. Dembele, he's missed the ball. How has he missed the ball? That is a mad run if he's onside. I thought he was miles off with that, but he's picked him out, and fair enough. Great run. Not like this. Bus gets beautiful tackle. It's Jones. He's got Dembele on an overlap. If we don't score from this. Go on. Oh, it's beautiful by Dembele. Absolutely beautiful. With that, I'm going to call it a game for Jones and Tagoya. They've both been really good, but Harrison and Evans can come on for a bit. Don't want them to equalise again. 
We'll, we'll give him a free kick on the edge of the box and give him that chance, shall we? Don't. Ooh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. What a tackle again. The defending. This game has been absolutely brilliant. There we have it. 3-1 against Tottenham. Like I said at the start, that really, really helps us in our push for Europa League. We're rotating a lot. We're giving a lot of youngsters a chance in this one against Wickham. I still think we should get the job done and go on a good cup run. And we have 3-0. Kamara twice. Robbery with the other. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, viewers. I have been trying, but I've just got absolutely no luck with finding anyone. I thought I might be able to bring you a surprise on loan. The club didn't want to loan him out. I've had a look at loads of young players on release clauses. Couldn't find any that were on decent release clauses. So here we are. I'll look again after the Chelsea game in case anything's changed, but we just don't have the money to go in for people. We're playing with the same lineup that got the job done against Tottenham. Chelsea look like they've got a pretty strong team still, but they've gone with Kepper in goal, so you know we can shoot from distance on him. Come on boys, I know we never play well against Chelsea, but pull out a surprise today. It'll be absolutely great if we can. Lovely ball out to Dembele straight away he's involved. Back to Jones, hits it. That's not a bad way to start. A very, very good one-two between Jones and Dembele. I don't like the way they're playing it around though. It's not very good. And they've scored. Like I said, I didn't like the way they were playing it around then. They just pinballed it around. It's weird to Lang. Back to Jones. He's got a good run on. Can't quite cut back. Nearly. Is that not a foul, ref? What? How has he come out of the ball there? It's always against Chelsea, isn't it? God, we've, we've won it and he's just decided, nope, you've not. We're 2-0 down. Okay, cool. You know, from now on, I'm not going to bother bringing you the Chelsea games because these are the games we play the worst in. We just, we've got the ball in dangerous positions. We just can't do anything with it, he says as Jones finds space and shoots. Callum Lang forces a save, can't win a second header. Nicely done, Callum Lang cannot score again. We went quiet and concentrated and even that's not working. I actually hate playing Kai Havertz on this game. I'm fed up with just how tall he is because he wins everything back. That's a good... what is that touch? Oh my god, what a save, Melier. Tell you what the problem is with Chelsea. They've just got unnaturally tall players in every position, which means the legs are about two foot tall on legendary. Well, ultimate anyway. Not legendary. What am I on about? That's it. All I'm saying is the height is helping them. Maybe we should invest in some taller players. From kickoff. Yes, Callum Lang, we've got one back. Can we get more? Oh my god, Werner again. Oh, Pierce is done. What is that? I've been had as well as scored. It's 4-1. Oh, that's Pierce is running the team over. And I may as well bring Brobbers on. Oh, what a ball. I don't know how Kepa's actually beat Brobbery too, that. That's, that's... I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what? I think in my summer transfers, I'm going to take a leaf out of Chelsea's book and just sign players over six foot tall. Because they just seem to defend a lot better. They seem to ricochet the ball just a lot more in their favour. What is that? It's just poor. Go on. Oh, robbery's at the bar. That ends the game. I'll let you know if we do anything transfer-wise. I'm going to have a rummage through the transfer market again, just to see if there is anything. Tell you what, as far as interested offers that have come in and go, Curtis Jones, who we brought for five and a half million on a release clause off Liverpool, they want to buy him back for 90 plus. And rejected it because Curtis Jones is brilliant, but imagine the money we can make off some of our players. We keep getting silly offers in for Godfrey as well, where they're offering us 
exchange players who just aren't anywhere near as good as him. Callum Lang's had a few, and Callum Lang is not going anywhere. I love him to bits. And with that, we are now in February. We didn't sign anyone. Like I said, I couldn't find anyone who comes up. But we did have some big offers, like you've seen, come in. We had another one for Curtis Jones. It was 101 million from Barcelona. And I'm thinking to myself, if an offer like that comes in in the summer, maybe we take it? Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below, just because with that money, we can do so much to this team. But anyway, that does us for today. We are leaving sat in fifth place, and it is quite tight down there. I think next time we meet is probably going to be around the end of March. So probably Fulham, Sheffield United and Liverpool. I'm thinking them three and maybe an FA Cup. I'll see. I'll let you know. I'll, I'll, I'll surprise you next episode. We're definitely going to play through the month of February at least. We're definitely bringing you Wolves Man U for the end of the season. So that probably means there's two episodes left of this season. Maybe three depending if we go on a cup run. So if you let me know anyone you think we should be looking at in the summer to improve this team. That will be a really, really big help. Anyone who's got really good potential, I'm probably looking at defence more than anything. Probably really good CDM as well. Comments, please help us out of that one. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more from us. We're uploading more or less daily between the three of us at the minute. It is brilliant. So subscribe. If we get to 100 subs as well, we're probably doing another giveaway like we did at 50. So there's a good chance to get involved while we're still small. Anyway. I'll catch you next week. Bye.